Hi there, this is Kiefer from Claire.io. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do image-based lighting. So any objects in your scene will actually reflect the virtual background around them. Now, Clara has some HDR environments built into the software itself. However, I'm going to use my, I'm going to apply a custom one first and then show you how to apply the Clara ones afterwards. So all I'm going to do is simply drag this HDR environment into here. You can see I'm using St. Peter's Cathedral as an HDR file format. However, Clara also accepts EXR as well as TIFF. So the material library, you'll see St. Peter's Cathedral as an HDR. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to add an operator and switch to UV map. The type, we want it set to environment so it will reflect the background. And environment mapping, you can see here it's an angular, so I'm going to just change that setting there. Now on the left explorer panel, you're going to right click on your material library and you're going to create a new environment map. And then again, just on the right side, the V-Ray Global Illumination, you're going to set to the HDR or whatever file format background that you've applied. Next thing, I'm going to create a simple scene. So I'll just add a basic sphere here. And then on the right side, I'll just allow this to render in V-Ray. That way, we'll be able to see those changes made in real time. As well, I'll just change my camera to turntable. So you'll notice any changes I make in the WebGL will show up right here in the V-Ray. So the final step, you're going to right, you're going to left click on your scene title. As you can see, mine is image based lighting. And on the right properties panel, the image based lighting environment map, I'm going to set to the environment map I created in my materials. And you'll notice right away the sphere has a little bit of a pinkish or rosy hue to it. That's to reflect the background that I've just applied. And secondly is just to apply the style background, which is the one we've already created. Now you'll see the sphere is actually floating right inside the St. Paul's Cathedral. And it, it's a little bit, you can see the lighting it is taking place a little bit on the object. But if I were to switch the material to something that's a little bit more reflective, we'll try ceramic. You'll notice the lights in the top as well as the floor is actually being reflected in the material. If we switch to something like a shiny gold, it's now a near perfect reflection of the environment. Now, I also mentioned that Clara has built in HDR environments. So on the bottom left panel here, if you click there, we can apply the desert road here. And right away it's loading in WebGL and then the V-Ray change will happen and you'll be able to see the scene is now reflecting an HDR environment pre-populated into Clara. So it's very simple and you'll notice it interacts with the scene quite effectively and any materials are actually going to apply to the scene around it as well. Now that's the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below and thanks for watching. Bye now.